Welcome to another JDS tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to remove backgrounds from photos in Corel Photo Paint using the Cutout Lab. To begin, I'm actually going to start in Corel Draw. So I've brought in my photos that I want to use. I have the milk truck and this background image. Now if I want to put this truck on top of that background, you can see it's got the white box around it. So I need to remove that. Uh, so I'm going to actually, with the milk truck selected, I'm actually going to open it up in Photo Paint. And to do that, you click on the Edit Bitmap or go to Bitmaps and uh, Edit Bitmap. Okay, and that's going to open up a window in Photo Paint. You can see now I'm in Photo Paint. And I'm also going to go up to Image and then Cut Out Lab. And that's going to open up yet another window. Uh, now you see this uh, circle I have uh, for my cursor. I'm actually going to bump that up. That's actually my brush or they call it a nib. Um, I'm going to bump that up to about 60. Okay, and then all I have to do is draw around the edge of the milk truck using the highlighter tool. Okay, and just draw a little around. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best you can just around the edge. You can make your brush size as big or as small as you need it uh, to get as much detail as you want or don't want. And we can fix any uh, mistakes that are made in as soon as we get done drawing around it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to cut out that mirror on the side of the truck. Okay, now I've ended up where I started. And now I can go into my Inside Fill tool. And I can actually click. And that just tells it the areas I want to keep. And then go to your Preview button. Um, in X7, it's down here in the bottom. In older versions, it's over here on the side. Let's go to Preview. And you see it's rendering. Okay, and now if we zoom in, you can see it actually took out some extra pixels in that image. So we need to put some of those back. It took out too much detail. Okay, so let's put, start by putting that back. And so what I want to do is hit my Add Detail tool. Um, if I want to take out some more detail, I'd hit the Remove Detail. So start adding. And so again, you just run it over with your brush. And again, you can adjust the size of your brush so that you can get as close to the edge as you need. I know it took a little bit out there. That looks good. Uh, and then let's fix this edge. The reason it takes a little too much out sometimes is because the background color is very close to the actual color of uh, the object. So like this white in the milk truck is similar to the white background and so it didn't know the difference between the two. So it might take out too much detail there. Okay, we got all that back in. Now I just want to clean up this mirror that we took out. So I'm going to remove some detail. I'm going to reduce my nib size a little bit. Take that out there and a little bit here. And it's okay if I took too much out, I can put more back in. Again, go back, I can adjust my nib size again, make it a little smaller so I can get it closer to the edge. And I'll take out a little more there. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Okay, so now I got it to where I want. Uh, so I'm just going to hit OK, and that's going to bring goes bring us back to the Photo Paint window. And then you need to save the image. So either hit File, Save, or hit Control S, and then you can close out of that Photo Paint window, and that brings the image back in Corel Draw. So you can see we have the edited version, no more white box. Uh, to finish this up, you could add some text around the, the truck and then maybe add a drop shadow. So let's do that just to make it stand out a little bit more. Just like that. OK, 
Hey, this has been Lisa with JDS Industries. If you have any questions about this tutorial or anything else, you can contact us at 800-843-8853 or visit us on the web at jdsindustries.com. Thank you.